This podcast is brought to you by the one and only Kong Beer Bong. Hey, are you casually hanging at a party? Then slide your beer into the Kong and keep it cold at the can cooler function. But when your song comes on, or if a change in the scene needs to happen, flip that beer upside down, grab the little hose, and let the beer flow. You'll instantly become the life of the party. The Kong is an engineering feature unlike any out there. Just being earnest. Just being earnest. Just this being podcast earnest. is brought to you by the one and only Kong just Beer Bong. Well, that's cash. And that's cash. Yeah. <laughs> you just said no cash. But then you got, you know, taxes and That's what I know. Dude, yeah. you're so you smart because, yeah. hey, that's why is this rolling? Yeah, we're on. Dude, yeah. thousand. We missed the front. Rehab. Okay, I. I'm talking to Mason. I asked him out of sheer curiosity, and I didn't know we were rolling. We don't need to say anything that's really bad. <laughs> we can bleep it out. We'll say it. We'll bleep it. Okay. I'm going to say this. And do I? can I say the brand? Yeah. Okay. So Mason did the Burger King commercial. So to change air machines, Burger King went on a mission. Testing diets that would help reduce their farts. That's a start. And my not little question that it's hell. Which I thought was awesome and hilarious, and I thought it was with a wink, and it was great. Not everybody loved it, but my point was, do you get paid? I asked him. I said, "Do you get cat? Do you get free Burger King for it?" What was your answer? Uh, I did, but it was uh, cold. Yeah. But, they, uh, that, <laughs> see, I'm. Mean, I, I was thinking, like, did you get a lifetime supply of Burger King? No, oh, no. He got bur- You got one Burger King order. I, I, well, they had like this whole table full of stuff, and they had all these kids running after it. It was like a stampede, and um, you were the last one to get food. <laughs> no, I was the first one there. <laughs> <laughs> but it was already cold. But yeah, it was cold when I got there. <laughs> and, oh man! Um, well, because when I was doing the commercial, um, I they had to order it two hours ahead, and. So I didn't get it until I was done with my stuff. So then I ate. Right. Right. And it was two hours cold. Yeah. God. So then I asked, first of all, whack. And then I asked, did you get cash for it? Mason goes, no, I didn't get cash for it. <laughs> I said, well, what'd you get? And he says, you're oh, going ble- to bleep it out? Yep, go ahead. I said, thousand dollars. You said. Yep. Yeah, I said that's cash, dude. <laughs> and then he said the smartest thing of any dude. I wouldn't have said this. This is how smart he's wearing my sunglasses because he looks amazing in them. He said, "Yeah," he, I said, thousand dollars cash." He goes, "Yeah, but after taxes and everything." <laughs> that dude, thousand dollars is not a lot of money after taxes. No, no, it's not. Not to walk through a cow's ass. Which is what you had to do for Burger King, dude. Man. Well, look. Hey, welcome to Just Be in Earnest. This is your first podcast. Yep. With sunglasses. And with sunglasses. But by the way, feel free to take them off at any time. Oh, no. I'm, I'm good. That's my man, I'm dude. Good. No, they're good. I'm good, dude. You're great. Life is chilling. Life is chilling. You've had an interesting one, dude. What are you, 14 now? 14. Yep. 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 When did you go viral? Uh, two years ago in 2018 when I was 11. And I met you how many days after you went viral? I don't know how many days, but it was like. I'm telling you how many days it was. It was five days. Five days? After the video went viral, me and Joey were hanging out in the studio in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. The video was taken more than five days before I met you. Right. I think. How long did the video exist before it went viral? Um, 
I think it was like probably 10, 10 days around there. Yeah. So 10 days. I know. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Me and Joey were just chilling in the studio. I forget what we were doing, but Seth was like, Hey, you've seen this kid yodeling in Walmart. We were like, yeah, look, here it is. Look at you. You're the sweetest human being on earth. Just know that. Your voice is so good. Poor old grandma in the back. Your grandma's chilling, dude. She's so proud, though. Look at, look at. Look at you, Mason. Dude, you, you're a badass for that. That's that is awesome. Because look, me and Joey. Yes, me and Joey, that was about the time I was, like, getting Joey on memes, pop culture, all all that. And, dude, this moment was so beautiful because, A, your yodeling's not easy. Singing singing the style that your grandpa, like, peeped you on game from a young age, which I think you're so lucky to be able to. That's why you have an old soul and you can sit here with your legs crossed and talk to me. Gentle, you have an old soul, and I love that. But. To have that song in your back pocket to just be chilling at Walmart and then pop off. And then I see you and meet you here. Me and Joey are like cleaning up the studio. Oh, my God, this kid's coming to the studio. <laughs> let's, let's get it ready for you. Much like we did right before you came tonight. Right. And, um, and me and Joey are, me and Joey are like, uh, okay, so we're going to meet Mason. And you're the best version of what we had expected because you are talented, obviously. But you're just – I'm so thankful to know you and – have you in my life because uh, you're so much more than that moment. You know what I mean? Right. And you had that almost, you had that moment almost unfairly given to you at such a young age. But also uh, I think with your maturity that you'd been given because of Ernie, by the way, his grandpa's name, mm-hmm. yep. Ernie, we, <laughs> we know, we know he's got an uncle Ern and a grandpa Ern. And uh, I think that, He's given you a lot of wisdom that kids your age don't don't have. Right. Yep. He was the one who taught me how to drive on his lap when I was about three years old, and I can still drive. <laughs> and and yeah. he's fourteen. I so. can. I can uh, <laughs> what is it? What did he drive? What What truck did you learn to drive first? I assume it's a truck, and I'm guessing yep. it's like an '80s F-150. No, not no, not that old. It was more like a 2004 uh, Dodge. Ram thirty five hundred. Yes, dual. Is he a yeah dually? dually. Yeah, the double stacks and it's in got the like, back. It's got like a it's got like a scope. Like it's uh, on top of it, it's like a an air scope. Oh, like because, a periscope. No, it's an like air this, scope. An air scope. What so, did it explain? So, uh, scoop, scoop, not scope. Oh, it's, <laughs> okay, totally different. Scoop. Okay. Um. Oh, I see what you mean. Like a to make it aerodynamic. Right. Oh, yeah, does it have a chip in it? Does it like blow black smoke? N- uh, no. Is this what you're talking about? One of those? No. Nope. No, 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 no. Doesn't it's, have the snorkel no, thing? No, no, no snorkel. It's just like litter. It's with An air um, scope. By air the way, scoop, I mean. It's like on the top of the truck. Like I got you. So you're driving that thing around what? Streets or the farm? Um, well, we take it on back roads and now nah, pretty much I just drive our police car that we have um you got a police car we got a 2004 crown victoria with a busted front grill because grandpa smashed it into a deer apparently whoa dude all right have all right wait till you're 18 and make him retell you that story (laughs) (laughs) no dude i'm just saying there's no way i'll bet i'll bet it was something other than a deer bro but it might not be well you can at least recheck his pockets for another story I believe he, um, he, see, um, Ernie's a legend, had, bro. He, he probably had 20 some odd beers before he came home and s- totally says he smashed it into a deer, but he probably hit like a light pole or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Hey, and there we go. And that, and that you'll never know. You'll never know. But my point is y'all have, it's a cop car. Is that what you said? Yeah, Does it have the spot, of, side spotlight on it? Yeah. Huh. We got two of them. The lights work? No, we just got like the little. Is it black and white or is it it's like just, an it's undercover car? White, just solid white with the with the light on it, spotlight. What would if of between the truck and the car, which would you drive if you could right now? Um, I like to go fast, 
And like I say to the Ricky Bobby, <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. Uh, you know, I'm just a I'm just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. You know, you know what I'm talking about? That phrase is trademark not to use it outside the position of Ricky Bobby. Ain't. That's exactly right, dude. That's exactly right. And that hits different wearing those sunglasses. I'm just saying that right now. Um, What was... I just want to ask you another question about the the viral moment, okay? Because okay. you you've grown up a ton since I first met you, right? Um, do you see it now? Like, are you you're on social media now, right? A little bit. Uh, I do you, some social media. My big thing though is like on Instagram because right. I know that more. And we're we've been trying to do some TikTok, but we don't really. Yeah, no, well, but you you scroll through. I know I just I, got a new manager, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. You got a you got a you got a great we manager. Gotta, we have the same manager. Right. Okay. Yeah. First of all, speak awesome. well on my manager, or you can get off my set <laughs> no. right now. Okay, I'll shut this thing down. Um, I'm just kidding. But my, my point is this: Do you know how to scroll through Instagram? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it, you do. Um, I, I hope I do. <laughs> you do. If I don't. I don't know what I'd be doing here. Here, here's the question. Do you do you recognize that everyone in the world knew knows who you are? To a degree. Whether whether they whether they would walk in right now and be like, oh my god, that's Mason Ramsey wearing earned sunglasses and a pair of Jordans. But like there's just a moment that is an icon of you, which was a clip of what we saw on the uh Yeah, you and Walmart. Right. And like I said, you're so much bigger than that. I'm pumped for you right now in this time in your life because you are so talented and not just that moment, you're going to drop some awesome music. You know a bunch of good songwriters. Do you have anything uh, Do you have anything in the bank that you're looking forward to doing? Are you too much enjoying? We were talking about uh, playing video games. I know you're a big video game guy. Oh, yeah. My favorite, uh, <laughs> my favorite thing to do is to shoot zombies in the heads. And, all, I mean, it's just so awesome. The animations in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I know it's old game, two years old. Most people, like... What are you doing playing that game? It's like it's old. Play Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, zombies. Yeah. And I'm like, no, because I like the map on Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, which is Blood of the Dead, one of my favorites. Yes. Um, on? On Xbox One, yes. Yeah. Um, I leveled up to the highest level now. I think you can get as level 55 in three days, which is kind of hard to do unless you stay up from like one do you video it or 12. are you just doing it by yourself? You should get on Twitch or something. Playing yeah, it. I should, but <laughs> I mean. Your that, manager's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it happen, okay? <laughs> this kid, so you, my thing, when I say you're a gamer, a lot of people don't understand when I, if I call him a gamer, that's a compliment because that means you're really good at games. And I'm not really good at games. I like playing Call of Duty. I play uh, Modern Warfare. But so when did you get, when did you get hip to playing Call of Duty? Was that when you started out playing video games was Call of Duty? No. Um, my cousin has an Xbox, and, well, I won't tell you the story of what happened to it, but um, I guess she got in trouble, and my aunt threw it on the ground and broke it. <laughs> you um, just did anyways, tell me the story. <laughs> but um, <laughs> No offense, Aunt Vicky, but... We um, love Vicky. We love Vicky. <laughs> but we played Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, and it's way harder than Black Ops 4 Zombies, but the highest I've gotten on Black Ops 4 Zombies was, like, level 44, 45, and that was on Blood of the Dead, by the way. that was, it's, it's just so good. The, so many cool weapons and everything. I like the, uh, I don't know what it's called, the Spitfire, the Blunder Gat, the Magma Gat, and the Acid Gat. You know exactly what they're called. Dude. I know what they're called. I know. Dude, just like he doesn't know exactly what happened to his Xbox One, yeah. but his cousin kind of got in trouble and Aunt Vicky threw that shit on the ground. Dude, Mason, something else. Look, um, so since life happened for you, like I feel like you've lived you've lived more life than than some people will ever get to live. You've gotten to shoot basketball in a pro basketball arena, correct? Yep. And where was that? The Oklahoma City Thunder. My favorite team. Still? Lots yep. changed. Yeah, a lot has changed. We got rid of some of our biggest stars, but you, you talk know to what? Westbrook at all still? No, I haven't yet talked to him. I like Kevin Durant. I know. Um, have y'all talked? Yeah, I actually met him during a Lakers game. 
We'll edit that out. <laughs> I don't want to edit that out. <laughs> I'm good. Are we good? It's what alcohol does to you. <laughs> alcohol didn't do this, bro. I know. Come on. I, dude, do you remember telling me to quit drinking White Claws on tour? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I tell people that all the time. This man would come up to me before shows and say, quit drinking White Claws, drink water. I'm like, dog, I'm also drinking water. Also, White Claw is water. It is? Yeah, it's like sparkling seltzer vibes with some alcohol in it. Funny. <laughs> It's not the same thing as water. No, you're right. You're right. It definitely uh, doesn't hydrate. Let's see. We're going to talk about our relationship, right? All right. Yep. Talking about that Lakers. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, wait. You went and shot at Oklahoma City. Sorry. We had a bull in a china shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Uh, so, you shot you shot hoops, Oklahoma City Thunder, at their arena. Yep. But what were we talking about, the Lakers? You saw them play I, against I know, the Lakers. No, no, uh, I met Kay. Kevin Durant at Ooh. the Lakers Arena. At Staples Center? At Staples Center, yeah. Do you get to shoot basketball at Staples Center? No. What did you do with this Kevin is, Durant? All right, this is when Kevin Durant was on the Warriors, so yeah. a lot's happened in about two years, I think. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, exactly. Actually, I think, yeah, two years. So I shot hoops on the Warriors arena, the, uh, what is it? Not Chesapeake. That's Oklahoma City. I remember when you did that. Didn't you bring a pair of shoes back from there? Did somebody give you a pair of shoes? No. Who gifted you a pair of uh, Kyrie Irving's? Or Kevin Durant? You had a pair of tennis shoes you opened oh, in here. Th- oh, um. I thought that was from one of those NBA places. I think it was from... I don't know who it was from. I can't remember. So I've got a terrible memory. I yeah, can't I was gonna remember say, anybody wanting to send Mason a gift, put your name on it three or four times. <laughs> so you never get credit for that. <laughs> um, so what was it like? What's it like hanging with Kevin Durant? He's a good, good dude. Yeah, I think I might have over fangirled him a little too much. No such thing. Yeah, I th- yeah you think, you think there is? Thing. What'd you do? Um, I, I wanna, Did you have a poster I, I, I'm gonna, for him? I'm going to apologize to him right now. Yeah, <laughs> so here I you go. Kevin Durant, to... this is Mason Ramsey's apology for fangirling too hard for you. Sorry about that. Um, you are my favorite basketball player. Um, I watched your game three days ago against the Wizards, and uh, strong comeback, very strong. And uh, I think you're going to be better than ever. So, yeah. I think that's great. There you go. And Kevin Durant, you're just evil if you don't take him back after that. Oh, no, he's not evil. No, he's he's never evil. He's a This is my person. show. <laughs> yeah. This is my show. Wait, what is this, Mason? Oh, this, no. You did a video? What is this? Uh-huh. Dude, what? Is, a lot's Kevin happened in Durant, two years. Look at you. That looks like your little I'll brother. I'll get on to you. But one thing. You would win a lot if you swap to the Boston Celtics. Now, let me tell you. That's how they're and you'd have him, and you two, you could be like the new all pro Splash Brothers without Curry. You could without Curry. 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 I mean, I mean, Curry's cool. So is Clay. I love Clay, but I love Kyrie too. Look at you. And and when you swapped, bro. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I don't think you're fangirling. I think you have the wrong approach to that. I think. I think you know a lot for your age is what I'm saying. Kids, when I was that age, I didn't know that I was going on the NBA. I was trying to figure out how many, uh, uh, whatever. I don't even know what they're called anymore. You put in a Coke bottle before that shit explodes. <laughs> Mentos. Mentos. Cokes and Mentos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I didn't know who was playing for who and who's getting traded. Uh, uh, hey, so we already talked about a little bit how we know each other. Right. Um, <laughs> do you have a first impression of me? You don't remember probably the first time meeting me, do you? No. Um, Because you came in here with your whole posse, your whole family, and me and Joey are in here. But I think the first time we hung out was when we were working on the – I mean, we hung out a lot when you were doing the first stuff over here. I remember you being on the microphone for the first time ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, That was a cool moment because you put your headphones on. You had never heard yourself like this, right? Right. That's crazy, bro. I know. Because you, you had just been blown up for singing, and you had never heard yourself through a microphone here. And I remember you were in the studio, in the vocal booth. Joe was like, have you ever heard yourself on the microphone? You know? And uh, 
you'd like check the mic a couple times and I have the I have the voice note of it somewhere of uh Joey's like, all right, we're ready to go. And you go, I think I've told you this. You go, Okie dokie. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, dude. You Joey's like, we have this we have it queued up. You ready to go, Mason? You go, Okie dokie. And dude, I, I had that voice note for forever and I wanted to make a producer tag out of it like before the beat drops and everything. Do I have your permission to use that one day? Yeah. <laughs> I want that as my text Seth, ring. Joey. Too. Scott Safford, any of my lawyers, dude, anybody? I can use it? Yep. <laughs> dude, that's proof in court. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mason. It's good as a contract. <laughs> Make sure we don't delete that, boys. Uh, anyways, look, um, I don't know if I've ever gotten to properly thank you for taking me on tour with you, but that was one of, I think that was one of the most fun tours I've ever gotten to go on. Thank you. Or will ever go on. Because yeah. I couldn't plan going on... I wouldn't know I was going on a tour with a 13-year-old kid. You know what I'm saying? And most, let me tell you, right now, people, I wouldn't just sign up to go on tour with a 13-year-old. Not for the way I live my life and the types of songs I sing. But when I met Mason, dude, you became, you're family to me forever. You know that. Yep. Yeah. And he loves my dog. My wife loves my dog. They both She loves me. Yeah, I was going to say, they like me. They love my dog. She loves him. We'll figure it out. Um, but I just, I uh, I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else than on the road with you, dude. You're an electric personality on stage. You're the real deal. Thank you. Yeah. Have you been writing at all or singing or you still singing old records? I I still sing. Um, Your voice is changing. You can't deny that. It's like really deep. You start singing some Johnny <laughs> Cash. Or, Hello, darling. It's been a long time since you left me. You're gonna be singing Conway in no time, dude. Oh, uh, I'll, 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 I'll see about that. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Some Randy Travis. I like Randy Travis. I What's do. your favorite Randy Travis song? Um. Forever and ever, Amen. Yeah, I like that one. He. I was just watching the other night on the. It's been a long time. They recorded like the generations back of the CMA awards. And yes. I, yeah. I saw every that Every time I uh, see him. I, well, I just, his voice is amazing. His, his voice is so good. Yep. It is. Dude, I, I, he's I'm, like, he's like real country, you know, real country. Now I'm excited to hear your voice as it progresses. Cause people do. And I already know this is going to happen to you. Cause you've sang in here before we started recording. You got look, you got your licks down, you got your voice, but like, some people that have gotten famous at a young age and then hit puberty and their voice goes, you already need to be pumped. That's not happened. You, you're just talented and you got such a good musical knowledge, bro. Thank I know you. I'm, I fanboy over you. I know that. I, know, <laughs> I feel like you talking to Kevin Durant right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> so forgive me. You're um, fine. Oh yeah, I went from Mike Studs to her, dude. Yeah. I went, I went from Mike Stud, which don't look him up yet, okay? But Mike Stud to her, shout out Mike, um, which was, dude, it was crazy. It was so different than your tour. <laughs> it was kind of, it was what you're imagining. It was like that, not country. It was rap. Oh, okay. So it was like that. Anyways, and then your tour, and dude, it was like. More fun. It was crazy. And I had my puppy with me, dude. I got to take my dog to New York City. I got to see so many places. Yeah. Crazy. You had a you had a song go all the way to number four on on uh the iTunes chart. Is that right? iTunes billboard. Number f- wait. Oh. Famous. Famous, yeah. People sing that song a lot at your shows. Famous, yeah. Really? Yep. Hey. That's incredible. Did you get that plaque? Yep, I got it. I you got, got it. it. You got it. Do you have a special it's room in your house for like everything? The living room. So, um, yeah, tell me about your living room. Is your bow tie and everything in there? Because it used to be here, right? I think so. Yeah, I wore that bow tie one night. I don't know. Is it still here? It used to be on the corner of a picture, but do you have like a ode to, uh, um, Love Sick so, Blues? So, um, no, but on one side of the TV, we have the Old Town Road. Uh, remix thing. Yes. The, the big, you got a big, plaque big for big that? Plaque. Yeah. That thing. Hey, would you mind hitting somebody up me. like Ron Perry or somebody to get me that plaque as well? Um. I'll see what I can do. 
Yeah, I need that plaque too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll you see. You could go we'll, ahead and we'll at least run a copy. Do. Yeah, because I know that's a plaque. I know that's a plaque plaque you got that's, over there. That's, that's, uh, He's sidestepping you right now. That's a heavy metal plaque. <laughs> What's it look like? Oh, it's 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 um. This is a plaque that will one like, day. It's like <laughs> it's real loud. You love think, it. I think it would be. Is it five two times two and a half of me wide, <laughs> and then it'd be oh, it'd be like seventy percent of seventy five percent of my height. So it's it's about like from it's about. So it's like the size of this desk. If this desk were that a, big, I think. Yeah, I'm, it's big. Hey, need one of those. Yeah, <laughs> need one of those. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. So what other plaque? You got a plaque for famous? I got a plaque for famous. It's going up on the other side of the TV. <laughs> I want your yep. TV. <laughs> yep, just like that. Old Town Road. Yeah. We did that. Yeah. You, you, you Shout out want... Jake Owen. Jake Owen, too. Yeah. I like Jake Owen as well. He's he's another one of my uh favorites. He's a good dude. He's the one who taught me to ride the... One wheeled scooter thing. Like, one wheeled? It's like it's like a hoverboard thing. Oh, oh, okay. I was thinking like a tricycle. No, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. The like that. It's got the wheel in the middle. And you ride yeah. like a surfboard yeah. type thing. Surfboard thing. Yeah. Um. How did that come to come to be though? How did that verse come to be? That verse came to be. That went through a lot of obstacles because Jake originally was going to do a version to Old Town Road, and me and him came in this room. Uh, and we wrote a verse for Old Town Road, and that was the uh, hop up in the tra- or hop up in the razor, got a thousand acres, right up on the cows with a pretty little phaser. phaser. And then I think when we first did that, there was another section of the verse. Let me yeah, see. she likes it when I sing, but she loves me for my twang. Sweet tea at the jar, now you can't tell me a thing. Hey. Oh, yippee yo okay. If you ain't got no giddy up, then giddy up. Yeah, hey, that's right. So, so when, so me and Jake originally had that part, the the first part uh, that we didn't hear, and then randomly Danny hit me up and was like, "Yo, what are you doing?" Me and Delaney had just finished eating dinner, and he was like, um, "Yo, I need you to go to the studio right now." Mason needs a verse for the Old Town Road remix. They're dropping it tomorrow with Young Thug. Oh my god! And I'm like, I'm like, hey Delaney, I gotta go. <laughs> so that's when I show up. Remember that night? I was yeah. wearing like robe, my cowboy hat. You show up, it's like ten, and I had a, I wrote a whole different verse that night for you. I wrote a whole different one from the OG night with Jake, um, and then. We recorded it with Joey, mm-hmm. got through it, sent it to Nas X. Shout out, Lil Nas X. Shout out. And then, uh, did he he FaceTimed you or Danny? One of the two. I think it was no. I don't think he FaceTimed. Yeah, we got we ended up getting on FaceTime because oh, after we did the vocal, I think it was or, with Danny. Danny. Yes. So after we did the vocal, and sent it to him for him to okay. He said he liked the hopped up in the razor, got a thousand acres right. section. So we had to re record that, boom, send it off. And dude, it was out the next morning. Wow. That you know you know enough to know that in Nashville stuff doesn't come out the next day. No. And yeah, I know. And with a song as viral as Old Town Road was, dude, for you to get thrown on that. And then you get to perform it at the Grammys, right? Yep. Was that at the Grammys? No. With you and Diplo, Lil Nas X. Young Thug. Yeah. And, uh, Dip, uh, yeah, Diplo, you already said that. BTS. BTS. Yeah. What? What was it like at the Grammys? Um, it was different. That's crazy, bro. My, like, never forget that you performed at the Grammys. So, um, <laughs> when I crazy. met up with BTS, my, my manager, Danny, taught me to say, Anyang Hazel. Danny, who's Asian. Uh, more like Korean. But that's Asian. It is. It is. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, also, anyways. thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, Just making sure. <laughs> See, I was right, anyway, Mason. Follow so, me. Anyang Hazel means, hello, how are you doing? Wow. And then they were so like. So now you're bilingual. And then they were like, well, they did something. And I was like, I don't understand. I, I was like, I, I, don't, I don't know. He's like, ah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and just, just turned around and walked off. Is that all? Is that your only interaction with them? Uh, yeah. That's legendary. <laughs> but they had like translators as well, so they had like people that. How many of them is English. there? Was it, were they like a big there was posse? Like, oh yeah, there there had to be at least twelve, thirteen of them. Oh my god! Of course, you know you have your act. And then you've got their management stuff. Yeah, of course. And their translators. Oh, uh, they had so translators. Like, and Yeah, everybody you know, was it, with it them. It was crazy. Man, did you have your own green room or something that night? Or yeah. Was it, you did? That was the night that Kobe, you know, passed. Oh, and, that's uh, right. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. which is kind of I strange. I forgot that was the same night. Yeah. God. What was that like? Um, Like the energy in the arena. Well, they had a spotlight on his jersey, number 24 and number 8. That's right. And um, I made a video, of course, um, before we we did the, our, our, whatever you call it. What do you call it? Performance. <laughs> performance. There performance. you go. Um, I'm the word guy. Yeah, you're the word guy. You're, you're the dictionary. That's me. Um, and I said, tonight, will we sing? We sing for Kobe. Everybody. I remember that. That's Come right. Come on, let's sing for Kobe. That's right. I remember that, dude. That's crazy. I can't believe that's been a that's almost been a year ago. Has it? Yeah, January. Yeah. Uh, early February. I think it was January. What the? January or early, yeah, something, something like that. At Staples Center. Yeah, I was at Staples Center. Yeah. So where, um, what would you consider? Would you consider that? Your most favorite moment performing, or was it Coachella? Or I'd probably say the. I, I don't. I, I've. It's kind of hard because I don't quite remember Coachella because neither nobody I, does. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. Yeah, nobody I mean, does. I, I know it was big. Coachella was big because I was the first country artist to be on. Yeah, that's true. A pop performance stage. So that's true, dude. It 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 was a big moment, yes. But my biggest moment was probably at the Grammys because that's well the Grammys. Everyone, everyone wants to go there, right? I'm not <laughs> Yo. I mean, those are two you knocked out what in a six month span, maybe eight month Coachella as a country artist. Right. And the Grammys on stage with Diplo, Young Thug. BTS and who else? Was there one more? Am I missing one? Um, Billy Ray. Yeah, Billy Ray. Yeah. Yo, I still got his phone too. number. <laughs> do you ever was, do you ever text him? Um, you no, should. but hey, when you turn sixteen, you should hit him up about a car. Oh yeah, Maserati. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just saying, take me on a ride. No, but one day when we went to Oklahoma, which is where um, one side of our family is, um, my cousin actually decided to. Which she's like two, of course. And mm-hmm. Always wants to play on the phone. Yeah. Well, she went to the phone uh, app and she just was scrolling through numbers and she, I guess, called Billy Ray and was like, and Daisha, which is my agent slash manager, picked up the phone. She's like, oh, no, 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 oh, no. <laughs> she had to hang up the phone. Was like, <laughs> That's the last thing we need is for a two year old talking to, I don't know, however old he is. Billy Ray, dude. First of all, Daisha, let this man call Billy Ray and ask for a vehicle because 16's coming quick. I'm telling you right now. Nah, I don't. I don't need a vehicle. I. I what do you I've, want? I've got, I've got you, my truck. You got your truck. It's waiting for you. No, listen, people. <laughs> you got your plans, dog. Let, don't play. Let me reason with you just a little bit. You got to reason right. with me. Reason with um, the people, man. The people. I'm gonna be nice to you. But you're not going to like this. Go on. I'm not a Ford guy. Ford, expect <laughs> oh, to break up on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. Found on road dead. I mean, I did. I've, I've always had a Ford, so. But I'll let you and do your thing. Do your thing. Second, what, are you, what are you talking about? Chevy is the Iron Knight. Comes in and saves the day. Chevrolet Chevy. saves the day. Chevy, Chevrolet, Chevy sa- Chevrolet saves the day. Tongue twister there. Um, anyways, this is a 1968. And I'll tell you the story. My grandpa a 1968 had a 1968 Chevy. Not this one, but another one. And uh, we were in Kentucky. 
and uh, not us because I wasn't born yet. Um, he was in Kentucky with his wife, which is my grandma. Thank God. And um, they were stopped at a stop sign. Does it look and, like uh, any of these? Is absolutely, it? it's a green one. It's a uh, light green with the white top. Nope, nope. It's uh, it's a uh, what is it? The straight bed. It's more like that bottom one, right? Yep, that's it right there. <laughs> but, but hey, my, that's nice. But my bumpers are white, painted white. Oh, that's so. And sick. I've got black wall tires on it, Ooh. which is better. <laughs> not not necessarily. I like white wall. Anyways, he was stopped at a stop sign, and he was going on, and another guy swapped seats with this other guy because he didn't have his license. Uh huh. And uh, ran ran that stop sign and smacked right into the side of Grandpa. And, of course, then back then, he didn't have seatbelts. Right. Smacked him. I mean, probably going 35, 40 miles an hour. Oh, no. And uh, flipped the car. and um, With Ernie in it? Yeah, and, and oh. Grandma. And uh, only thing did to him was that he had a battery sitting right there, and it hit him right there in the corner of the eye, and that, that was about it. Um but if he had if he had been in the seatbelt, he would have he would have gotten crushed. Throwed him out the out the uh, out the, the windshield. No, not the windshield. Window. The window. Well, we're just thankful that didn't happen because he gifted <laughs> he gifted you the musical. I mean, good God, man. Yeah, and life then, happens fast, dude. And, Keep your batteries I, at bay. Yeah, don't. And, and then after that, he had a sixty-seven. Wait. So wait. Wait. First of all, dude. I'm ADD. You're add -er. How did we get to a battery hitting your grandfather? Uh, what are we doing here? I, I guess you would. What do you tell me? Because you got a what your truck waiting on you? Where? <laughs> at home in my driveway. And it's a 1968 Chevrolet. Yeah. The please, Iron Knight. Please don't steal it. It's it's my everything. I won't steal <laughs> I'm it. I'm just kidding. I want to see you drive. I want you to take me on a ride. Will you pick me up from Broadway one night when you're 16? I'll try. If you don't, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you better try hard. I will. That's amazing, dude. Um, God, you have a your your knowledge of cars is nice. Do you have a dream car? Um, 1958 Plymouth Fury. You do have a dream car. <laughs> I know them all. You know what the headlights Plymouth look like. Fury? You know what the headlights look like in the dark, right? Like, are you like? Because yep. my grandfather tried peeping me on that knowledge, where like we'd be on the we'd be on the freeway at night on the way home, and he'd be calling cars by their headlights on their way home, and he would always give me these car magazines to be looking at uh at their headlights. He's like, you can always tell a car by their headlights. And right. I feel like I've always been able to kind of do that. But, like, are you pretty good? You say what, the 1958 Plymouth Fury. Yep. Um, Christine is her name. You already got that. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. The white one, I hate to be the, your the wife. Look, She's look, out there look. getting ready. Uh, over. Be with someone else. Yep, and you one. got her name picked out already. Yep. That's it. That's the one that they auctioned off. Um, that's the one you want specifically. A long time ago. Yeah. I want, I would like to have one of those. If anything. I'd like you to have one of those. Dude, what outfit are you wearing when you're driving that car? Um, I don't know. You I, got it. You got your aesthetic down. What I'm do trying to do the uh Arnie Cunningham style. The long hair, the dark long hair. That's why I'm not Arnie I'm, Cunningham. Would you pull that up too? I want to see Arnie Cunningham stepping out of this vehicle. You might be the most self branded artist anyone I've ever met, if you pull out a, a name like Arnie Cunningham to get out of 1958 Plymouth Fury. This is at, from the at, movie Christine, right? Yep. You gotta talk to the about that, right? Okay, so you just want to yeah. dial into that 19, early 80s. Not not him with the glasses, but him him right him right there, yeah. That that's one. that's what you consider yourself looking like hopping out of a 1958 Plymouth. Yep. I hope you're right. I like him. Yep, he's, he's a cool guy. Look at you, dude. Mason Ramsey, dude. When you drop your album at 18, that's got to be the cover. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be the cover. You've got three Italian girls in the back seat. Oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite there. No, no. By the time you're 18, no, nope, nope, no problem. Nope. Have you texted Millie Bobby Brown yet? Um, no, I probably should. Yeah, dude, you should text her way before you text Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. You know, 
You should probably just be like, yo, going to be in L.A. next week. Let me take you to Food Lab or something. <laughs> yo, True Foods or tr- uh, gr- Tender Greens. Huh? No. Yo, it's Mason, Tender Greens, <laughs> question mark. Just be like, yo, it's Mason. We should have dinner, dot, dot, dot. Uh, I mean, people have done stranger things. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you should text her that right now. <laughs> no. You have her number? Yeah, of course he has. Got it. Should we FaceTime her? You got, yeah, dude. No, I don't you know, know how this is going to turn out. Is she's going to fly here and slap me right aside the face? <laughs> then that's a story. That's no, nah, that's, that's not a story. <laughs> no, but I'm me. saying, I'm just saying, I think 100% the line is... We should have, we should, we should hang out sometime, dot, dot, dot. I mean, people have done stranger things. I mean, come on, Mason. I'm your OG, dog. Trust me. Yeah, just, just, yeah, well, that. It needs to be you. You only talk via Instagram. I don't, I don't have her number. Oh, you don't? No. Me neither. I don't have her number either. Oh, no. Run it on Instagram. Run it on Instagram. Yeah, uh, you don't have to say anything. I don't know if you want to earn it. Yeah, you can go ahead and help me out with it. I'll help him out with it. Go ahead. Here. Just say, text her at the end. If You, you type it. I'll text you what to say. Uh, I, okay. Be respectful. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be good. Okay. Just say, hey. He was already talking to her. Okay. Yeah. Hey, comma. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey. Wait, no, don't do a, <laughs> no, don't do a, don't do a voice recording. First of all, she said. I'm not a very good texter. She said FaceTime me soon and gave, the, gave her number. Okay. We're not gonna face some of them, right? We're gonna save that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, hey, comma. Hold on, I'm gonna say. <laughs> 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 no, dude. I just want to set you up. Right. I'm praying. Hold I'm on. praying. I love that you said, "Hey, Don't Millie, how you me. been?" Hey, Millie, how you been? <laughs> yeah, you got it. Okay. Hey, comma. I'm thinking. Period. We should probably kick it sometime, period. LOL. I mean, people have done stranger things, LOL. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Don't you dare send that. Not kick it? No. Have this a is, meal? This gotta come from me, <laughs> hey. You got to grab his, you got to grasp his brand voice him. here. You got to be him. You can't be. I thought that I was just giving him flair. Yeah, give it here. Yeah, give, you were typing it like snow. I don't need. I don't he, don't. he doesn't need me. This is the this is the confidence I needed from me from jump. Hey, Run you it. Gotta, you gotta okay. On that Caroline car. Yep. Hey, Millie, how's things been? Simple. I love it. That's that's great. Okay. Yo, need, Yo you snapped. We need, <laughs> we need to step aside. Hey, this man just snapped in the DMs. While he drops his headphone, <laughs> I don't need him. <laughs> no. Hey, Mason, Millie, you, how you been, Mason? You you're wildin'. You said a a couple years ago, I think you were on Ellen, and I think you said that you had a crush on her. You still have a crush on her? Or are you guys just friends now? Um. Yeah, I still got a crush on her. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I think you could have ran with the kick it line, but <laughs> Ernest looking for credits on this. <laughs> yo, I do need credits, bro. <laughs> He's like, yo, but that Stranger Things bar, though? Mm. I sent it. You sent it? Hey, Millie. How you been? There you go. That's perfect. Hope you're having a nice day at work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a four-week call. Nice. Episode one. Comedy. Dude. How do you feel? Uh, you should feel fine, man. Nervous. You're shaking a little Ooh, bit. A, a little bit. Hey, that's what you should feel. I, I, hey. <laughs> this ain't nerves, kid. <laughs> Wait, actually, I wanted to I wanted to ask you about that because you don't look like you're ever nervous on stage. And you oh, went I'm from, nervous. I'm really? Don't, yeah. I, I'm nervous uh, just doing this. I mean, I'm you nervous. You don't seem nervous. You no, hide it well. You hide it really, really well, man. I, I, I know. It's, it's like drinking whiskey for so long and then you, you're away from it for a little while. You're, you're just like really shaky. And that's what you're like when you're on this podcast? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I think you said that beautifully. <laughs> also, coming from a kid who, believe it or not, has never had a sip of alcohol in his life. Yeah, I'll tell you a joke. I'll listen. <laughs> so, people say, uh, well. Go ahead. You're so, fine. Okay. So, here, let me start this over. Let me. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> all right. So, one day, this guy asked this other guy, how do you get drunk on water? I don't know. And he said, 
you mean to tell me you can't get drunk on water? And said, sure you can. All you got to do is take a bottle of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey, get on your boat, and drive up the river. (laughs) (laughs) This podcast brought to you by Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. I'm going to use that joke. That's so good. I've never heard that. That I haven't either. Uh, that was a joke from my grandpa. So Ernie, don't, I'm don't take any offense oh, if you don't like it. Awesome. No offense. Do you um, have Do you have another grandpa Ernie joke? Um, no, I've I've read this for uh from uh I believe it was like the get these comic things at Captain D's. I know it's it's a local place where nearby where we live. Um, anyways, talking so, about Captain D's. Yeah. I've been there. <laughs> you have. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, I've had the sampler platter a hundred million times. Okay, this may not be the best joke or the greatest joke, so. So run it anyways. Work, Let's I'm go. I'm still working on it. Just making All sure right, it's. So. So I haven't seen it. Okay. So this. Okay. So this. <laughs> this guy, works for the city hall, and they're building a new swimming pool. Okay. And they go up to uh, the house or this one house, and they ask this uh, family, um, if they have any donations for. Uh, the swimming pool that they're putting in, you know. Mm-hmm. So I guess this wife's husband, or, or did I say that right? Yeah, oh, I'm with yeah. You. The wife's husband. Yeah. Um, went to the sink and got a glass of water and handed it to the guy. There, there's your donation. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm her. That's hilarious. That's exactly my attitude. Bro, which is, I think that's a great way to get into this next little uh, area here because we've been talking about jokes, okay? Yep. Let's talk about songs. How old are you? You 14? I'm 28. Am I 14, 14 years older than you? Yeah. I was your age when I was born. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't. Pause. <laughs> I was your age when you were born. And then you opened for me. Um. Let's do this. <laughs> this is my new rock band name called, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Let's, uh, wait, go name that tune. Name that tune. Let's do the name that tune. Yeah, but you thought it was tunes like songs. It's not. It's songs like cartoons. I mean, it's uh, tunes like cartoons. Oh! See, he's letting the alcohol get to him. There it is. See? Less White Claw, Earn. Dude, <laughs> you're one more of those little, little snotty nose com- comments away from... Getting put through a wall, dude. And this is my show, okay? Again, not yours. So if I want to, if I want to drink on my show, dude, I will hear none of it, okay? From your little smart mouth. I don't care if you do got Millie, Mo- Millie, Mo- Millie Bobby Brown <laughs> in your in your DMs and a Dodge Plymouth waiting on waiting on you in the drive. Name that tune. You watch cartoons growing up? Uh huh. You actually might be good on this because. Mm. I'm thinking yeah, you're right. I'm thinking Ernie might have peeped you on some good cartoons coming up, right? Mm-hmm. Like you might know some of the older cartoons. I'm guessing. So let me bring it let me bring it through here. Do you know who that is? No. Doug. Yeah, no chance you watched Doug. Nope. Okay. Cat Dog. Well, you just told them who it is, so that didn't work. <laughs> well, the the theme song is "Get Dog." You gotta let them guess it, though. Oh, do you know who that is? No, I I thought I could I thought I could say, "Do you know who that?" Have you seen it? Yay or nay? <laughs> you just went cat dog. Do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where we're at, dude. Yeah, I, we I got a I got a good idea now that he's probably you probably definitely watched. Uh, what is the next one? <laughs> SpongeBob. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Tom and Jerry. Yes. Oh, classic. Uh, beep, beep. Do you know their names? Beep, beep. Um, that's Coyote, and that's Roadrunner. Yep. That's yep. impressive. Uh, Bugs Bunny. Yes. Nope. Ren and Stimpy. Nope. I don't know. Don't, don't worry Nay. about it. Don't worry about it. I wasn't okay. allowed to watch that one growing up. I'm yeah, sure. it probably wouldn't be either. Yeah. Um, nope. Uh, all right, but it's Hey Arnold. Hey, football head. Never. Nope. Okay. No, I think he's an older school. 
You you probably watch yeah, you probably yeah. Uh oh, I uh, I know his name. Uh, I can't <coughs> I can't place it right now. I've watched that show before. Starts with an A. Arthur? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh Alvin and Chipmunks. Dude, I'm so Christmas glad you Christmas Christmas time is here. <laughs> yep. Yes. Dude, I didn't know when I first put that on the list, I was like he might not. And then the further we've gotten into this, I was like, he'll definitely know Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah. We got Alvin one more. and Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Yeah, you definitely know way too much about Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yep. Uh dude. You're so lucky if you don't know about this group. <laughs> first of all. This is one you need to so be proud of that you have no idea. No, Fruit I salad. Don't. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. You never heard it? Pat yourself on the back right now. You never had to know the wiggles, dude. The wiggles. The most uncomfortable 20 minutes of TV ever. Blue, see ya. Yellow, bye. Red, next. <laughs> Purple, go. Dude, all of them. So, so, say it with me. Slaw on three. One, two, three. Slaw, slaw dude. The wiggles are slaw. Listen to this. So addicting. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Look at that guy. Gotta get lost. Yummy, dude. yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Fruit yummy. salad. Let's Ooh. make some fruit salad today. Well, oh, let's oh, not. It's fun to do. It's a healthy way. And oh, no, it's not. Take all the it's fruit boring. That you want to eat. It's boring. It's going to be a fruit salalad tree. Dude, Let's stop say. this right now. Never yeah. am I Get sitting it off there. The screen. Get it off the screen. I'm not making Get a fruit salad. What's your favorite go-to meal? Do you ever make yourself food? Um Coca-Cola 24/7. Yeah, I mean, you're so healthy. You have you and Andy Kaufman have the same diet, dude. <laughs> You know, boils on your back inside of size uh, of Texas if you keep up that lifestyle. Um, I, I don't remember what the saying was. Coke, Xbox, sangin. it was and like sangin. Sangin. Sangin, two liters Coke, water. Xbox, and juvenile. That's pretty, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. Repeat. Where are we going for dinner tonight, though? What? Where are we going for dinner tonight? McDougal's. Dude, McDougal's Jeez. is so good. There's another. Hey, let's do a um. Why don't we do a live in La Vila local with old Mason? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> Showing up in Nashville for the first time. Okay, Millie Bobby Brown flies into Nashville and she says, Where are we eating? Where are you taking her? Um Actually, I'd I'd I would fly her to Nashville. I'm at Nashville. La -la -la. Edit that out. I, I would take her to Oklahoma City. Oh, you wouldn't even fly her to Nashville. Dude, the segment is called Live in La Vila Local. It's got to be Nashville. Nah. I understand that you're nah, balling. Nah, you nah, like, nah, mm, nah, nah. Dude. He's like, I'm global, Ern. Uh, I'm glo the world is local. Okay, well, this segment of Live in La Vila Local is specific for Oklahoma City. Where are you taking a girl in Oklahoma, dude? Um, Aishin's one of the best. Probably not the... He's schooling me. Best well known because people, not all people in the United States or other countries live in Oklahoma. So, no kidding. Yeah, it's it's chicken. If she likes chicken, hey. If she likes chicken, boy, she's going to love. Ain't nothing uh, about it. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's it. Best bar in Oklahoma. Okay, so where are you taking her in Nashville? <laughs> um, um, you ever been to a mariachi club? No, I don't, I don't think I'd, I'd want to go. Maybe you will. No. Let's see. Um, as you get older, what are you excited about? I'll ask you plain as day. What do you look forward to about growing up? Now, Getting my truck fixed. Dude, you say one more thing about your truck. You're making me really jealous. I don't have a 1968 did you say Iron Curtain? What would you call it? <laughs> the Iron Knight. The Iron Knight. The Iron Curtain. <laughs> the Iron Curtain Our name like... <laughs> is Clementine. Clementine. Oh, my gosh, dude. So Clementine She's green. So, really, you just can't wait to turn 16 and drive your truck around. 
Right. It's that simple. I want to do a burnout when I get it out of the driveway. You deserve to do a burnout, <laughs> dude. The longest burnout she's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always a longer one. There's always a, there's always a, yeah. There's, there's always, always a longer, longer one. one. You'll learn that. Let's write that. Let's not. No, let's not. Let's not. <laughs> Do you have any good titles on your phone of songs you want to write? Um, you got any titles? On no, but I do have a really good um background music. You got the music the for song. it. I've got music, but we need lyrics. Have you ever met me? Yeah, I met you. <laughs> hey, I remember. Wait, where was it? Oh, I don't know. Do I remember you? Yeah, I yeah, dude. You. <laughs> He's such an old soul. He already has Alzheimer's. <laughs> hey, so what's it like writing with Ern? Like, how did or how does it? How was it the first time you guys wrote together? Um, let's see, how was it? It's been. I'm telling you, man. It's been so long. It's been two years. I'll tell you what. I'll answer that for you. Yeah, answer it for me. You know. More. Um, I think the first couple of songs we had together, the first couple of songs we had together were already written, and we gave them to you, like with me, and Corey right. Crowder, and BK. I guess a couple of people that would have been. Uh, what was that? Uh, famous. No, not famous. The other. Oh, Twang. Twang. Living for my Twang. That's more. Like, she loves me for my Twang. Yes, yeah, she likes it when. I, is it? Yes. Yeah. Like the way I sing. And she hears me on the radio. When, when she hears me when, on the radio, she, she knows. knows that it's me by the way I sing. She, she loves, loves me for my twang. twang. Oh, she loves, loves me for my twang. twang. Yeah. So it wasn't. A, it's so much lower now. I Dude, I bet it's crazy now. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but that's what I was going to say. I think the first couple songs you did, we weren't in the room together for, but we've been hanging out here the whole time. And there's a picture of you standing right in front of this desk. I think holding my banjo, I'm playing banjo and you're playing guitar. Right. Um, old town road was the first time we were actually in the room together working on a song. So there's that. Wow. That was it. That's crazy. Yeah. Old town road is what officially brought us together on a record. Wow. And that wild. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. <laughs> what else? We got a few more minutes. What do we want to, what do we want to hash open here? We can edit any of this. We can, uh, do, um, uh, we can do another segment. Yeah, let's do one more segment, dude. I got this put together. We got you're wearing a dope pair of shoes today. This is called What Are Those? We're basically going to be judging people's shoes right now. Is that good with you? Mm -hmm. I do that in public every day. Okay. I see people's shoes. Better than those. Bro, you're probably right. I got grease spills on these, but thing is, like, somebody had to die. <laughs> Something had to die for me to wear these. <laughs> I definitely, these, yeah, dude, what are these? You're right. Sorry, dude. Those Sorry I had like to wear a bird on my feet. Ostrich. What are those? What are those, though? Uh, ugly. <laughs> Thank you. Rate them out of one to five. Uh, zero. Ooh. Damn. They're, 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 they're. But if you had to wear them with pants and a shirt, what would you wear them with? Um. Ugly sweater day. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. I'd wear an all black umbro suit, sweatsuit. If I had to wear them, I'd wear an all all black top bottom windbreaker suit and just bold move Kanye vibes. All right. Next. All right. Ooh, what are those, dude? They do a special run at Buckle with those. Yeah, is there any other close up picture? That's all I got. Just those are, that. those look oh, like, yeah, that's okay. Those. Look like minus the studs. There's a moment there. Yeah. Minus the studs coming out because UGG makes a pair of slippers like that, which I think that's what they were going for. But those aren't it. I feel bad for that guy's feet. Probably s stepped on five or six nails while going through the process of wearing those. Yeah, but dude, imagine kicking someone in the face while they're down wearing those. Ow. Imagine getting out of your Imagine getting out of your dude. Get out of your Plymouth after taking your girl to to Schnikes or whatever the whatever you called your huh? Inchins, itchins. No. And you no, get out. You get out. Somebody I says. Should, somebody should. says something about your girl, and you're like, but "That's okay." Somebody's already beat them to the ground. You walk up and kick them in the face wearing these things. Somebody dude. already beat them to the ground. Yeah, and you, and you toss you toss them. You toss them a hundred dollar bill, and you're like, "Nah, this, Christine this is would for probably run them over." You know. And now Christine. it's a murder one. And now it's a murder one. 
So we went from an ugly shoe segment. <laughs> to, I'd straight up kill them if they talked bad about my girl. Okay, what would you give those shoes? I'm going to give them a three. Uh, I'll give them um, two. Okay. Two. What, what? I'm giving not, these a five for comfort every time. Yeah, I'd, I'd give those. Uh, does Ernie, a, does your grandfather have a pair of those? Half, three. No, he, he wears boots and that's it. I've he doesn't have a pair I, of all black tennis shoes like referees wear? He, no, he doesn't wear those shoes. He wears... He's I don't know the shoes I'm talking about. He's literally stuck back the in unpolished referee shoes. He's literally stuck back in 1960s, 50s, and the 40s, where so all they you. wore was like boots and leather <laughs> shoes. Everything had to be leather. If it wasn't leather, then what? It if wasn't it, worth. If it wasn't leather, then they ain't got it together. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, it Pretty beats good. it beats my saying. <clears throat> it all it, it might. Uh, what do you think about these right here looking like some bombers, dude? Bombers. She's got a fire. Nah. But why is she getting walked on? <laughs> well, she never, <laughs> don't, I won't answer that. Um, I would never wear these, but somebody's wearing these on Broadway right now. Really? For sure, dude. Somebody's walking out of Honky Tonk Central right now just tossing COVID around wearing those. <laughs> Just kicking it up and down the street. You know it. They got a pair of buckle jeans on with a big affliction shirt. Wearing these smell like axe. <laughs> Rate them. Uh, I'll give them a two. I'll give them a two. I'll give them a two. I'll give them a two just because of her. Oh, fun. You can't even see her. They're walking. I'll give them a, I'll give them a three because she's in the bottom of them. <laughs> you know, I just give them a two. I'm just kidding. I was going to say a 10, but no. <laughs> it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth the whiskey. Last Sorry, ones. Mason. Last yeah, pair of fine. shoes. Okay. The Versace's. Now, you know these are expensive shoes. Does Benny Blanco have these shoes? I don't know. He, he might. He might. Uh, I don't like but, I don't like these shoes. No, I, I don't like the vibe. I don't like this fad of shoe either, mm. personally. It's, it's too fat on the bottom. Mm. The same way I don't like the... The K Swiss Skechers, Urban Outfitters. Uh, I just got everything off a of forty percent off rack at Urban Outfitters, and these shoes were full price. <laughs> wow, eighty bucks. Um, but the Versace's, those are probably six hundred dollars shoes. I wouldn't spend that on. I mean, they're actually might maybe nine hundred dollars shoes. Okay. I'm gonna give them a one because of how expensive they are for how much I don't like them. I'd give him a zero. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree tough, with you. Yeah. It's it's tough. It's really tough. Tough to like these. But, okay, I agree with you. There you go. All right. Well, there's the what are those segment. That's now. What are those? What are those? Better than those. <laughs> better than those. This whole, this whole thing's been skewed by his better than those. Just get cut into my boots every time. Um, Hey, thanks for doing this podcast with me. Hey, no problem, man. I missed you. Thank you. I haven't seen you all year. I missed you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I miss Blue. And and the dog. Good, good, good. We go ahead and cut this little shit head off. <laughs> I love you. Uh, hey, he, uh, 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 I don't trust you with Corona. Here, finish this. No, I'm I, um, not finishing that. Dude, he, he wore my glasses this whole time. Respect to Mason Ramsey, my uh, good friend. Well. Hey, a future if you want stepson. A good look at my face. There you go. It's, there he is. Look at those. Like my future stepkid. They all have a good night. <laughs> Take it easy. Just being earnest. Just being earnest. Just being earnest. Just being earnest. Just being earnest.